Archaeology is a fascinating subject area, looking at how we have come to create the world that we know today. Looking at the past can often lead us to reevaluate our understanding of a potential future, and archaeology is one tool that lets us precisely do that. There is so much history that outdates our time on this earth, and that tells the stories of many different civilizations that have walked their way through this time. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three archaeological findings that we have uncovered within the past decade. DNA from the Denisovans has left a curious mark on modern people in New Guinea. Denisovans are a type of hominin species, a subgroup of archaic humans who lived in the same sort of time as the Neanderthal populations in the Lower and Middle Paleolithic eras, spanning 3 million to 50,000 years ago, when the two periods are combined. This group of now extinct human relations lived throughout Asia. It has been a point of question for many researchers if their genetic composition is distinct enough from the Neanderthals for them to be considered a separate species of the same genus, or if they were simply Neanderthals that lived further east. Whilst Denisovans have been extinct for many thousands of years, there is plenty of evidence still thriving today. Our ancestors mated with these hominin species, preserving aspects of their DNA within the modern population. This in itself is not news, but new research, as of December 2022, does seem to unveil that people living in modern-day Papua New Guinea may have inherited a particularly unusual genetic variation that can be traced back to these Denisovans, and that even has the potential to impact their immune systems. Joshua Aki, a population geneticist who works at Princeton University, said in an interview with Science, Matings, which took place tens of thousands of years ago, are still influencing the biology of contemporary individuals. Some have even suggested that it could contribute to the levels of smoking and alcohol one might consume, and even impact things such as the development of celiac disease within their lifetimes. According to this new research study, published in the December of 2022 in the academic journal p -Loss Genetics, up to 5% of Papuan's DNA comes from the Denisovans. We have an idea of the ways in which the DNA of Neanderthals impacts modern humans. The same possibilities of how Denisovan DNA could have a lingering modern presence is much less known. This wildly under-researched area of study has the potential to reveal how a whole breadth of people across the world are impacted by ancestors dating way back, further than generations could ever remember. This study looked at the genomes of 56 people from Papua New Guinea and revealed that a high number of mutations inherited from Denisovans were within close proximity to the genes of the immune system's response. Researchers then took to the lab, manually growing cells that replicated these same mutations, letting us observe how they impacted different genes in the body. It was found that two of the mutations actually had the capability to affect the activity of the immune genes. This research is still within its very early stages. The lab studies conducted so far and the prior research regarding Neanderthals suggests that this research area could be highly valuable and very worthwhile. Denisovan's DNA reveals mystery of human evolution. We have long had an interest in those that came before us, and while the Neanderthals are spoken of somewhat with frequency, the Denisovans were only found to have existed in 2008. This recent discovery of their ancient existence has led to many shifting details in our understanding of human evolution. They have made an appearance in our archaeological field and have left a trail of new research in their wake. Even following their finding in 2008, our timeline stood to be corrected, with us believing they existed just 50,000 years ago. As of 2015, however, we found that this number was far too limiting, and that, despite initial understandings, the Denisovans had been hanging around and walking the Earth for what could easily have been tens of thousands of years longer. This age correction was the result of speculations surrounding the true age of some fossils that were key in understanding this species. DNA from the species was tested, obtained from a tooth fossil found in a southwestern Siberian cave. From this tooth fossil, alongside the other somewhat limited data we have so far on this species, researchers have been able to conclude that the Denisovans were more accurately walking the Earth 
a staggering 110,000 years ago. The director and co-author of the study, Svante Pabo from the Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology, said in an interview with CS Monitor, We got the first glimpse of genetic variation in Denisovans, and it turns out they have quite a bit of variation, about as much as Neanderthals. The tooth fossils looked at were determined to be from two separate people, with one of them having been alive a significant length of time before the other. This was determined by the missing mutations within the genes, giving us further insight into where these specific genes may have come from. Despite some people's theories, the Neanderthals and Denisovans, whilst similar, are very distinct species. Their resemblance is incredible, with the differences between their species only being evident after very closely analysing the original fossils. This intense level of examination that is required is what allowed the Denisovans to go undetected for so long. Human history pushed back 400,000 years by new discovery. Sometimes it's the smallest of changes that have the biggest ripple effect, and our whole perspective can shift ever so rapidly. History might seem as though it is stuck in the past, though in reality, history is reflected and dictated by the present. Everything we learn that has happened is susceptible to change with any new discovery. In this case, a single jawbone managed to rewrite our historical timeline by a staggering 400,000 years. A fossil of a lower jaw was uncovered in Ethiopia back in 2013. It has been dated to reveal that it is 2.8 million years old and holds important insights into how human jaws and teeth have developed throughout time. As far as we know, this jaw is the oldest piece of evidence we have from any species that belongs to the genus Homo like us humans eventually came to be. So, this jaw has the potential to clue us in on just how the species within the genus Homo managed to evolve from their most primitive states all the way to us today, not only in the 21st century, but also back to when we became Homo sapiens at all. Up until this finding, the fossils that have been found to be any older than 2.5 million years old have been too poorly preserved to obtain any valuable data from them. This discovery marked an important turning point in archaeological research in which we were able to see some of the earliest records we have of our lineage. Dr. William Kimball, the director of the Institute of Human Origins at Arizona State University, said, The leddy jaw helps narrow the evolutionary gap. It's thanks to the fossil which represents a critical point in the timeline of human evolution that we have a better understanding of this transitional period even if it means correcting a lot of research that we already took for granted. This is a vastly noteworthy example of just how much change one small finding can bring to an entire discipline, subject of work, and species as a whole. Human evolution is perhaps one of the largest butterfly effects known to man. The small changes, the minor decisions, and the single mutations are still evident millennia later. But what are your thoughts on these archaeological findings? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.